This program brought to you in part by the Erica Lewis Endowment Fund. Hello and welcome to the 2021-2022 Clark County School District Spelling Bee Finals. I am honored to be your host, Nathan Tanandun. Now this final B is actually going to take place in three separate Bs, one for each grade, 6th grade, 7th grade, and 8th grade. Now before we get started, I want to make sure you know that we have three wonderful judges who are helping us representing both the CCSD and our community. Our judges are Eric Gant, CCSD Executive Director of the Education Services Division, Sarah Banta, the reigning Mrs. Nevada America, and Trina Reyes, a CCSD teacher. All right, let's meet our bright young spellers starting with the sixth grade. So as I introduce each speller, they're going to come up to the microphone, spell their word, go back and sit down. We start with Ian Trump. And Ian, your first spelling word is remorse. Xavier felt no remorse towards his mother when he got caught lying. Remorse. R-E-M-O-R-S-E. -E. Remorse. That's how you do it. Thanks, Ian. Let's meet our next speller. Ava Cushing from Swainston Middle School. Come on over. Ava's favorite subject is art. Let's see how you do a spelling. Here's your first word, Ava. Stealthy. The stealthy thief made it down the alley without being caught. Stealthy. S-T-E-A-L-T-H-Y. Stealthy. Yes, good job, Ava. Here's Sawyer Merkel from Gwynn Middle School. Hi, Sawyer. Favorite subject is math. Let's see how you do with your first spelling word, and it is scientist. The scientist is working on developing solutions to climate change. Scientist. Oh, Sawyer, I'm going to stop you. Take your mask down so we can see your mouth. All right. There you go. Scientist. S-C-I-E-N-T-I-S-T. Scientist. Yes. Students, remember to say the word, spell the word, and then say the word again so we know you're through. Thank you, Sawyer. That's correct. Nicole Lim is next from Tarkanian Middle School. Hi, Nicole. Chemistry is her favorite subject. Here is your first spelling word. It is prepare. All the students were told to prepare an oral report for their essay. Prepare. P-R-E-P-A-R-E. -E. Prepare. Yes. All right. Next up, from Webb Middle School, say hello to Ilakia Suresh. Suresh. Hi, Ilakia. It's good hello. to see you. Make sure you take your mask down so we can make sure you're, we can see you. Yep. Your first spelling word is invisible. Stories of invisible creatures are still popular. Invisible. I N V I S I B L E. Invisible. That's correct. Thank you, Elakia. That brings us to Lane Mitchell. Come on up, Lane, from White Middle School. Likes science and hopefully spelling as well. Here you go with your first spelling word. It is Literacy. Derek used his fortune to establish foundation to promote literacy. Literacy. L I T E R A C Y. Literacy. Good job, Lane. Next up from Brown Junior High School, Webster Welsh. Come on up, Webster. Good to see you. And thank you for taking your mask down. Here is your word. Shoulder. The boy hurt his shoulder playing football. Shoulder. S H O U L D E R. Shoulder. That's correct. Students, remember, say the word, spell the word, and then say the word again. Good job. So that is our first round. We go back to the top and start all over again. Ian, we have your second spelling word. It is eagerness. We were full of eagerness to get started on our trip. Eagerness. E-A-G-E-R-N-E-S-S. -E -S. Eagerness. You got it, Ian. Thank you. And Ava is up next. We have your second spelling word, Ava. It is bruised. 
The grocery store had a hard time selling bruised fruit. Bruised. B R U I S E D. Bruised. Yep. Thanks, Ava. Sawyer, we have your next spelling word. It is rhythm. The music had an interesting rhythm. Rhythm. R H Y T H M. Rhythm. Yes. Thank you, Sawyer. Nicole, your second spelling word. It's commotion. The commotion of over a thousand students in the halls was a shock to the new student. Commotion. C O M M O T I O N. Commotion. Yes. Thank you. Next up, it's Ilakia. Hi, Ilakia. Your second spelling word is coyote. The girl was frightened to see a coyote in her backyard. Coyote. C O Y O T E. Coyote. Yes. Lane, come on up. We got your second spelling word. It is intellectual. The guidance counselor told the student she shouldn't be afraid to be an intellectual. Intellectual. I N T E L E C T U A L. Intellectual. And that's incorrect, Lane. There are two L's in there. It's I N T E L L E C T U A L. So go ahead and have a seat over there. We'll see what happens. Thank you, Lane. We move on to Webster. Come on over, Webster. We have your second spelling word. It's debris. Debris from the shipwreck washed ashore 1,500 miles away. Debris. D-E-B-R-I-S. Debris. Yes, sir. Okay, so there's two rounds of spelling. Uh, judges, we're moving on to vocabulary, right? Okay, so students, in this round, you're not spelling a word. I'm going to give you each a word, and then I'm going to give you two sentences that describe that word. And you tell me which one you believe is the correct description for the word. And all you have to tell me in your response is letter A or letter B. Let's get started with Ian. Come on up. We have your first vocabulary word. It is reciprocated. So if something is reciprocated, it is A, to apply the mind to the acquirement of knowledge, or B, mutually exchanged. B. And that is correct. Thanks, Ian. That's your first vocabulary word. Ava, we have a vocab word for you. And it's decorum. What's it mean to have decorum? A, propriety, good taste in manners or B, to impart a particular style to? A. Yes, ma'am. Good job, Ava. That brings us to Sawyer. Come on up, we have a vocabulary word for you, Sawyer. It's hieroglyphics. Hieroglyphics would likely be found on A, Egyptian artifacts, or B, store receipts. A. That's correct. Good job, Sawyer. Nicole, we have a vocabulary word for you. It's lethargic. What's it mean to be lethargic? A, possessing or controlling great wealth. Or B, of or relating to being sluggish. A. And that's incorrect. It is B, relating to being sluggish. Go ahead and have a seat over there, Lane. Let's see what happens. And Ilakia is up next. Hi, Ilakia. Mm -hmm. Here is your vocabulary word. It's bayou. A bayou can be described as a, a creek or a small river characterized by a slow or imperceptible current, or b, an extremely valuable piece of art. A? Yes. Ilakia, have a seat. And we move on to Webster. We have a vocabulary word for you. It is unanimous. 
If the family vote for pizza was unanimous, it was A, not conforming to, or B, an agreed opinion. B. That's correct. Okay, so there's your vocabulary round. We have one, two, three, four, five spellers. Students, we're going to go back to actual spelling words where you have to spell the word. And judges, I want to make sure I'm on the same page. We're on word number 15. Okay, so that brings us back to you. Ian, come on up. Here's your next spelling word, Ian. It's quizzical. She had a quizzical look on her face as the teacher asked for the homework that she hadn't done. Quizzical. Q-U-I-Z-I-C-A-L. Quizzical. And that's incorrect, Ian. There's two Z's in quizzical. Q-U-I-Z-Z-I-C-A-L. Have a seat. Let's see what happens. Ava, we have a spelling word for you. It is voluntarily. Teachers often voluntarily give many hours to after school, after school clubs and activities. Voluntarily. V O. I'm sorry, can you say the word again? Sure. Voluntarily. Okay. Voluntarily. V O L U N T A R I L Y. Voluntarily. Yes. Thank you, Ava. Next up, Sawyer. We got your next spelling word. Come on up. Your spelling word is phenomenon. This phenomenon's been observed in both laboratory and field studies. Phenomenon. P H E N. Hold on. P H E N O M E N O N. Phenomenon. And that's correct. Thank you, Sawyer. Ilakia, we have your next spelling word. It is sanctity. The U.S. Constitution strives to preserve the sanctity of personal property. Sanctity. S A N C T I T Y. Sanctity. Yes, good job, Ilakia. And that brings us to Webster. Webster, your next spelling word is intangible. It's difficult to describe intangible things. Intangible. I-N-T-A-N-G-A-B-L-E. That's incorrect. Webster intangible has an I there instead of the A. It's I-N-T-A-N-G-I-B-L-E. So go ahead and have a seat. Let's see what happens. So we have three spellers here. And we got another round of spelling, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, okay. Ava, step on up for your next spelling word. It is suitable. The two-engine plane was suitable to fly from one island to another. Suitable. S-U-I-T-A-B-L-E. Suitable. Yes, good job, Ava. Sawyer, step on up for your next spelling word. It is sheer. The sheer fabric from the curtains allowed some light to get through the window. Sheer. Um, S-H-E-E-R. Sheer. Yes, remember to say the word at the end. Good job, Sawyer. Ilakia, we have another spelling word for you. It's casserole. My grandmother served my favorite scalloped potatoes in her Casserole. Casserole. C A S S E R O L E. Casserole. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So we have our three top spellers. We've done two more rounds of spelling. It's time for one more round of vocabulary. And judges, I believe we're on word number eight. Okie doke. So, let's see. Ava, step on up here. We have a vocabulary word for you. 
it is illusion. What is an illusion? A, an implied or indirect reference, or B, an instance of deception or delusion? B. And that's incorrect, Ava. It was A, an implied or indirect reference. So go ahead and have a seat here. Let's see what happens. Sawyer, we have a vocabulary word for you. And your vocabulary word is nuance. A nuance is A, a shade of difference or subtle distinction, or B, physical motion or exercise of force. A. That's correct. Ilakia, we have a vocabulary word for you. It is precocious. Someone who is precocious is A, of a happy, contented character or disposition, or B, displaying maturity at an early age. B? Yes. So we have our top two spellers, but we're not done yet. You two are moving on to the Nevada State Spelling Bee, but we need a first place speller and a second place speller. So now that we've finished with that round of vocabulary, we are done with vocabulary, and we're going to go back to regular spelling words. And I believe we're on word number 23. And so, Sawyer, come on up. Your next spelling word is... Exhibition. Our favorite exhibition was the one with the dinosaur. Exhibition. E-X-H-I-B-I-T-I-O-N. Exhibition. Yes. All right, Ilakia. Your next spelling word is hammock. The tourist lounged in the hammock every day at the beach. Could you please repeat the word? Yes. Hammock. Hammock. H? A M M O C K hammock. Yes, ma'am. All right, let's do it again. Sawyer, we got another word for you. Your next spelling word is facade. The facade of the old building was deteriorating. Um facade. F A C O D. Facade. Okay, that's incorrect. Ma'am. You know, Sawyer, you can stay right here in your seat. You're good because yes. you're one of our top two spellers. So, Ilakia, we have another spelling word for you. So, you both have to get this either correct or incorrect, and then we'll see what's going on. So, Ilakia, take your mask down. Here you go. Your next spelling word is pneumonia. The doctor told Meredith she had a mild case of pneumonia. Pneumonia. P N E. U M O N I A. Pneumonia. That's correct. You're the top two sixth grade spellers in the Clark County School District. Congratulations to you. And the CCSD Spelling Bee Finals continue. We congratulate the top two spellers from the sixth grade. We now move on to the seventh graders and let's get started. We have a spelling word for our first speller who is Ainsley Cronrath from Miller Middle School. Ainsley, come on up. It says that you and your brother made a few episodes of a show called the Cronrath Challenge Show. We hope to see that sometime. But let's move on and get you your first spelling word. It is simplify. Every spring, we try to simplify our lives by removing unnecessary stuff from our closets. Simplify. S I M P L I F Y. Simplify. Yes, thanks, Ainsley. Go ahead and have a seat. And this brings us to Sabina Tamir Bulatova from Fest Middle School. Hi, Sabina. It's good to see you again. I know you're from Russia and you've, hey, you've done some fencing. Is that what it says here? Good for you. All right, here is your first spelling word it's careful. You must be careful when holding the baby. Careful. C A R E F U L. Careful. Yes. Thanks, Sabina. Have a seat. That brings us to our next speller. It's Ari Clary from White Middle School. Hi, Ari. History is your favorite subject? Awesome. Well, let's see how you do with spelling. Your first spelling word is librarian. Juan asked the librarian for the newest novel by Neil Gaiman. 
librarian. L I B R A R I A N. Librarian. Yes. Thanks, Ari. Next up, Sophie Ross from Brown Junior High School. Hi, Sophie. You have two favorite subjects. It says here English and art. Be tough to pick, wouldn't it? Yeah. Good thing you don't have to. We got your first spelling word. It is neglect. I choose to complete my homework before I play, so I do not neglect my studies. Neglect. N E G L E C T. Neglect. You got it. Thanks, Sophie. That brings us to Nkwachi Odali from Escobedo Middle School. Hi, Nkwachi. Good to see you again. Oh, boy, you have three favorite subjects English, history, and math and I think you're a pretty good speller. Let's find out your first spelling word. It's concept. Julie's concept of entertainment wasn't the same as mine. Concept. C-O-N-C-E-P-T, concept. Yes, thanks Nkwachi, go ahead and have a seat. And this brings us to Crash Crescenzi from Br Bridger Middle School. Good to see you again, Crash, everything good? Yep. Awesome. Science is your favorite subject and let's see how you do it spelling your first spelling word. It's migrate. Some birds migrate south to find warmer weather in the winter. Migrate, M-I-G-R-A-T-E, migrate. You got it, thanks Crash. Here's Zen Velazante from Levitt Middle School. Hi Zen. Hi. It's good to see you. Uh, you play the piano and the trumpet. I remember talking about that. So get your mask down so we can make sure that we see what you're spelling here. And here is your first spelling word. It's Minute. Sophie believes she could have finished the exam if she had one more minute to work. Minute. M-I-N-U-T-E. Minute. Yes. All right. There's our first round under our belts of all seven spellers here. We move on. Ainsley, we have another spelling word for you. Come on up. Your next spelling word is quail. The gambles Quail is a small bird native to the southern Nevada desert. Quail. Q-U-A-I-L. Quail. Yes, thanks Ainsley. Go ahead and have a seat. That brings us to Sabina. Got another word for you. It is juvenile. Gary Paulson is an award-winning author of juvenile fiction. Juvenile. G U V. I N I A L Juvenile. And that's incorrect, Sabina. Juvenile is J U V E N I L E. Go ahead and have a seat over there. We'll see what happens. Thank you, Sabina. And Ari, come on up. We have another word for you. It's tortilla. A new variety of tortilla was made using three types of corn. Tortilla. T-O-R-T-I-L-L-A. -L -L tortilla. Yes, thanks Ari. And that means we move on. Sophie, we've got another spelling word for you. It's brilliant. Sylvia was mesmerized by the brilliant diamond bracelet in the ad. Brilliant. B. R I L L I A N T. Brilliant. Yes, thanks, Sophie. And Kwachi, got another spelling word for you. Your word is rationalized. Marcus rationalized his behavior, but his mom said it was still not right. Rationalized. R A T I. O N A L I Z E D. Rationalize. Yes, ma'am. Thanks, Nkwachi. Crash, come on up. Got another spelling word for you. It is confusing. The storyline was confusing and hard to understand. Confusing. C O N F U S I N G. Confusing. In fact, not at all. Yes, sir. All right, Zen, got your next spelling word. 
and take your mask down. Thank you. Your word is autonomy. The 13 colonies were seeking autonomy from British rule. Uh, can you repeat the word, please? Sure. Autonomy. Autonomy. A U T O N O M Y. Autonomy. You got it. Yes. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay, so those are our first two rounds of spelling. Students, we're now going to move on to one round of vocabulary. So let's go ahead and get started. Ainsley, we have a vocabulary word for you. It is condolences. What are condolences? A, expressions of sympathy with another in grief, or B, events or possibility hinging on uncertainty. A. And that's correct. There's your first vocabulary word, Angela. Good job. Ari, we have a vocabulary word for you. There you go. It is exonerated. To be exonerated means A, to strike out, obliterate, or mark for deletion, or B, to relieve, especially of a charge. B. You got it, Ari. We move on to Sophie. Got a vocabulary word for you, Sophie. And it is ingenious. Something described as ingenious is A, characterized by cleverness. A. Oh, oh I didn't even get to do B, but you're right. Yes. You probably should wait for both choices, but you, you're OK. I But you're about. good. <laughs> and Kwachi, here is your vocabulary word. It is rationalize. To rationalize means to A, develop new ideas, or B, make an attitude or belief conform. Could I hear the options again, please? Sure. The word is rationalize. To rationalize means to A, develop new ideas, or B, make an attitude or belief conform. B? Yes. There you go, Nkwachi. Crash, we have a vocabulary word for you. It's volatile. If something is volatile, it is A, characterized by quick or unexpected changes, or B, causing fright. A. Yes. Good job, Crash. And Zen, a vocabulary word for you. It is discern. To discern means to A, show contentment, or B, detect. B. Yes. Okay, there's one round of vocabulary. We are going to go back to spelling words. So students, all of these next words for two more rounds will be spelling words. And judges, to make sure I'm on the right page here, I believe we're on word number 15. Here we go. Ainsley, come on up. Got another spelling word for you. It is infectious. Christina had such an infectious laugh that soon the whole room was laughing. Infectious. I-N-F-E-C-T-I-O-U-S. Infectious. Yes, thanks Ainsley. Ari, you're up next. And make sure your mask is down. There you go. Your spelling word is bewitched. Some say a sorceress bewitched the town back in the early days. Bewitched. B-E-W-I-T-C-H-E-D. Bewitched. Yes. Thanks, Ari. Sophie, your next spelling word. It's inappropriately. The child inappropriately cried when he didn't get all his new toys. Inappropriately. I-N-A-P-P-R-O-P-R-I-A-T-L-E-Y. 
That's incorrect, Sophie. You got the last two, you got those, some of those letters confused at the end. Inappropriately is I-N-A-P-P-R-O-P-R-I-A-T-E-L-Y. So go ahead and have a seat. Let's see what happens here. And Kwachi, we have a spelling word for you. It is abruptly. He stopped abruptly as the stoplight turned red. Abruptly. A B R U P T E L Y. Abruptly. That's incorrect. You added an E in there when there wasn't one in Quachi. Abruptly is A B R U P T L Y. So go ahead and have a seat. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> Crash, here's your next spelling word. It is indefinite. Dylan had to plan his party for an indefinite amount of people. Indefinite. I N D E F I N I T E. Indefinite. Yes. Good job, Crash. And Zen, we have another spelling word for you. And can you lose the mask? There you go. Your next word is lesion. Sophie had Dr. Kendall treat the lesion on her skin. Lesion. L-E-S-I-O-N. Lesion. Yes. There you go, Zen. Okay, so we're going to do another round of spelling with you four spellers, and then we'll go on to a, a vocab round if we need one. So, Ainsley, we have another spelling word for you. It is poisonous. The mushrooms looked poisonous. Poisonous. P-O-I-S-O-N-O-U-S. -O -O poisonous. Yes. Thanks, Ainsley. Ari, got another spelling word for you. It's transfixed. They were all transfixed by the soothing voice. Transfixed. T-R-A-N-S-F-I-X-E-D. Transfixed. Yes. All right, Ari, have a seat. That brings us back to Crash. Mm -hmm. Crash, your next spelling word is Evaporation. The puddle lost its water due to evaporation. Evaporation. E V A P O R A T I O N. Evaporation. Yes. Zen, come on up for your next spelling word. It is seismograph. The seismograph indicated the earthquake had a magnitude of 6.5. Uh, seismograph. Uh, can you repeat the word, please? Sure. Seismograph. S E I Z E M O G R A P H. Seismograph. And that's incorrect, Zen. Oh. There's no Z in there. Seismograph is S E I S M O G R A P H. So go ahead and have a seat. Let's see what happens here. Okay, so we are going to move to a round of vocabulary for our remaining three spellers. And uh, Judges, let me see. I think we're on word number six. Is it seven? Seven. Okay. Ainsley, come on up. We have another vocabulary word for you. Again, you're not spelling this word. I'm going to give you the word and a couple of different choices to make. So your word is poignant. If something is described as poignant, it is A, very touching, or B, pointless. A. And that's correct. Have a seat. Ari, we have a vocabulary word for you. 
it's angst. To have angst means to A, feel excluded, or B, a feeling of anxiety. B. And that's correct. All right, Ari, have a seat. Crash, we have an, uh, another vocabulary word for you. Yep. It is marsupial. A marsupial always has A, a very long tail, or B, a pouch to carry its young. A. And that's incorrect, Crash. The marsupial carries its young in a pouch. And we have our top two spellers in the seventh grade, but now we need to find out which of those will be the top speller and which will be the second place speller. So we're going to continue with a spell done to that level, and we're going to start with Ainsley. Come on up to the microphone. Your next spelling word is waltz. She learned to waltz for the ball. Waltz. W A L T Z. Waltz. Yes. Thanks, Ainsley. Have a seat. Ari, here's your next spelling word. It is heretic. Martin Luther was once considered a heretic for defying the church. Heretic. H E R A T I C. Heretic. And that's incorrect. Ari, the second top speller in the seventh grade. Ainsley, the top speller in the seventh grade. You're both moving on to the Nevada State Spelling Bee. Congratulations to Ari and Ainsley. Now, the eighth grade spellers. And let's get going with Jordan Terrell, our first speller from Johnston Middle School. Step on up to the microphone, Jordan. Take your mask down so we make sure we can see your mouth. Says you want to be a uh, major in zoology when you go to college, huh? Yes, sir. Awesome. Well, here is your first spelling word. It's receive. She hopes to receive good news this weekend. Receive. R-E-C-E-I-V-E. -E -E. Receive. Yes. Thanks, Jordan. Go back and have a seat. Our next speller is from Lawrence Junior High School. We say hi to Sophie Tran. Come on up, Sophie. Enjoys reading fantasy books. Well, we've got a real spelling word for you, and it is diagnose. Dr. Davis was reluctant to diagnose Sam's condition until he had the test results. Diagnose. D-I-A-G-N-O-S-E. Diagnose. Yes. Thank you, Sophie. Next up from Johnson Middle School, it's Alexander Weibel. Come on up, Alexander. Your spelling word is bankrupt. After being in financial trouble for many years, the business went bankrupt. Bankrupt. B-A-N-K-R-U-P-T. Bankrupt. Yes, sir. Thanks, Alexander. Next up, Sanjay Tan from Miller Middle School. Hi, Sanjay. Hi. You skipped third grade. Good for you. Here you are in the eighth grade. Let's see your first spelling word. It is yearn. Kittens often yearn for their mother. Yearn. Y-E-A-R-N. Yearn. Yes, thank you, Sanjay. Here's Joaquin Coffee from Levitt Middle School. Hi, Joaquin. Boy, for this being your first spelling bee you've ever taken place in, you're doing great. Here's your first spelling word. It is vibrant. The nurse had a vibrant personality that could cheer even the most despondent patient. V. Vibrant. V-I-B-R-A-N-T. Vibrant. Yes, thanks, Joaquin. Next up, Melody Lee. She's from Rogich Middle School, currently taking some French classes, but we have an English spelling word for you, and it is velocity. The car moved with so much velocity, it couldn't stop at the corner. Velocity. V-E-L-O-C-I-T-Y. Velocity. Yes. Thanks, Melody. That brings us to Ethan Garcia from O'Callaghan, and hopefully Ethan looks familiar to you, Spelling Bee fans. He was here in the sixth grade. Hi, Ethan. Here is your first spelling word. It's barrier. Ozone is the Earth's barrier against ultraviolet radiation. Barrier. B-A-R-R-I-E-R. -R -R -E -R. Barrier. 
Yes, thank you, sir. So we go back to the beginning and we have another spelling word for Jordan from Johnston. Come on up, Jordan. Your next spelling word is inquire. Destiny stayed after school to inquire about her grade. Inquire. I N Q U I R E. Inquire. Yes, thanks, Jordan. Here's Sophie again. We got another word for you, young lady. And it is medicinal. The medicinal cough drop smelled bad and tasted worse. Medicinal. M E D I C I N A L. Medicinal. Yes, thank you, Sophie. And Alexander, your next word is coming right up here. It is telescopic. The photographer used a telescopic lens to capture the soccer game. Telescopic. T E L E S C O P I C. Telescopic. Yes, thanks, Alexander. Sanjay, word number two for you right here. It is ledger. Balancing the ledger was part of the bookkeeper's job. Uh, ledger. L E G U R E. Uh, ledger. And that's incorrect, Sanjay. Ledger is L E D G E R. Oh. So go ahead and have a seat, and we'll see if you have to stay over there or what happens next. But thank you so much, Sanjay. That brings us to Joaquin. We got your next word, Joaquin. It is muse. When he was a boy, Scott used to sit and muse on what he would do with his life. Muse. M-U-S-E. Muse. Yes. Thank you, sir. Here's Melody Lee. We got your next word. And it is qualm. I had no qualm about taking my dad's car without asking because it was an emergency. Qualm. Q U A L M. Qualm. Yes. Thanks, Melody. And Ethan, we got your next spelling word. It's residue. The soap left a filmy residue on the bathtub walls. Residue. R E. S I D U E. Residue. Yes. Okay, so we have completed two rounds of spelling. So, students, our next round is going to be vocabulary. So, this is not spelling. So, Jordan, step on up. We have your first vocabulary word. And it is sampling. Sampling is used to A, determine traits or attitudes of a whole population or B, create a woven tapestry? A. Yes, thanks Jordan. There's your first vocabulary word. And Sophie, we've got your first vocabulary word. It is plagiarism. Plagiarism is A, to steal or pass off as one's own, or B, to spell incorrectly. A. Yes, ma'am. Thanks, Sophie. Alexander, got a vocabulary word for you. It is hybrid. A hybrid is A, a mixture of two things, or B, an animal only found in the wild. A. Yes. Thank you, sir. We move on to Joaquin. We have a vocabulary word for you. And it is ukulele. A ukulele is A, a small percussion instrument, or B, a small string instrument. B. Yes. Thanks, Joaquin. We move on to Melody. Balcony. A balcony could be found in A, a deli, or B, a theater. B. Yes. Thanks, Melody. And Ethan, a vocabulary word for you. It is quartet. A quartet is A, a group consisting of four, or B, a polygon having five sides. A. Yes, it is Jordan. Got another spelling word for you. So once again, you do have to spell the word here. And your spelling word is lethargic. After eating Thanksgiving dinner, Jamal felt lethargic. Lethargic, L-E. 
T H A R G I C, lethargic. Yes. Thanks, Jordan. Sophie Tran got another spelling word for you. It's nausea. The doctor said that nausea can be alleviated with bland foods. Nausea. N A U S E A. Nausea. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Sophie. Next up, Alexander got another spelling word for you. It is wombat. The wombat made a burrow for its young. Wombat. W O M B A T. Wombat. You got it. Thanks, Alexander. Joaquin got a spelling word for you. It is disdain. Alex looked with disdain at her friends when they made fun of her sister. Disdain. D I S D A I N. Disdain. Yes. All right. Boy, we've got some good spellers here. Melody, you ready for another spelling word? Come on down. Your word is illogical. Overtired people sometimes display illogical behavior. Illogical. I L L O G I C A L. Illogical. Yes. Thanks, Melody. And here is Ethan for your next spelling word. It's depot. The goods exited the factory from a central depot. Depot. D E P O T. Depot. Yes. All right. We're going to start another round. Jordan, you got another spelling word coming. Your word is obituary. My grandmother's obituary gave directions to her funeral. Obituary. O B I T. U-A-R-Y, obituary. You got it. Thanks, Jordan. Sophie, your next spelling word's coming up. It is abruptly. He stopped abruptly as the stoplight turned red. Abruptly. A-B-R-U-P-T-L-Y, abruptly. Yes. All right, Sophie, have a seat. We'll have a Another word for you coming up, but we start, uh, we move on now to Alexander. Mr. Weibel, got another word for you. It is blather. Joe's announcement consisted of 10% information, 90% blather. Blather. B L A T H E R. Blather. Yes. All right. Joaquin, come on down. Got another word for you. Papacy. The Roman Catholic Church is ruled by the papacy. Papacy. P A P A S I. Papacy. That's incorrect, Joaquin. Papacy is P A P A C Y. So have a seat there. We'll see if you end up over there or whether you come back. Just go ahead and hang out and we'll see what happens. Thank you, Joaquin. Our next speller is Melody. Come on up, Melody. Your next spelling word is indolence. The sloth is known for his indolence since he spends 20 hours a day hanging out in the trees. Indolence. I-N-D-O-L-E-N-C-E. -E. Indolence. Yes, ma'am. And Ethan got another spelling word for you. It's Jackal. A wolf and a jackal often went hunting together. Jackal. J A C K A L. Jackal. Yes. Okay, so that is two more rounds of spelling. Judges, we have another round of vocabulary, right? So your next vocabulary word is legislature. The legislature, A, keeps documents organized, or B, makes the laws. A, keeps documents organized. And that's incorrect, Jordan. The legislature makes the laws. So go ahead and have a seat here. We'll see what happens next. Your next vocabulary word is emancipate. So emancipate means to A, to set free from the power of another, or B, perform a lively, springy dance of the British Isles. A. Yes. Thank you, Sophie. Have a seat. 
Alexander, we have a vocabulary word for you. It is deciduous. Deciduous trees have A, colorful leaves, or B, leaves that fall off. B. Yes. Thanks, Alexander. And Melody, we have a vocabulary word for you. Your vocabulary word is tenuous. So if a, a situation is tenuous, it is A, continuing or enduring, or B, not firmly based or supported. B. Yes. And Ethan, come on up. We have a vocabulary word for you. It is gondola. A gondola is A, a type of roller coaster, or B, a narrow, flat-bottomed boat. B. And that is correct. Thanks, Ethan. Okay, so we're going to go back to spelling words. We have four spellers left, and we're going to get down to two here, one way or another. If we have to keep spelling all day, we'll be here all day. And we start with Sophie. Your next word is absorption. During lab, students tested the absorption rates of various items. Absorption. A, B, S, O, R, B, T, I, O, N, absorption. And that's incorrect, Sophie. You were struggling with it. It's uh, absorption is A, B, S, O, R, P, T, I, O, N. So go ahead and have a seat. We'll see what happens here. Alexander, we have a spelling word for you. And it is cataclysm. The eruption of Mount Vesuvius proved to be a cataclysm for Pompeii. Cataclysm, C-A-T-A-C-L-Y-S-M, cataclysm. Yes, thanks Alexander. Melody, welcome back. We have another spelling word for you. It is signifier. Being stubborn is a true signifier of a Scorpio. Signifier. S-I-G-N-I-F-I-E-R. Signifier. That is correct. Thanks, Melody. Ethan, got a spelling word for you. It is perfunctory. Daniel's smile for his customers was perfunctory. Perfunctory. P-E-R-F-U-N-C-T-O-R-Y. Perfunctory. Yes. All right, Alexander, we have a spelling word for you. It is leaven. The yeast serves to leaven the bread. Leaven. L-E-V-E-N. Leaven. And that's incorrect. Leaven is L-E-A-V-E-N. So go ahead and have a seat there, uh, Alexander. We'll see what happens here. Uh, Melody, come on up. A spelling word for you is obeisance. The young girl showed obeisance when she bowed before the queen. Obeisance. O-B-E-S-E-N-C-E. -E. Obeisance. And that's incorrect, Melody. Obeisance is O-B-E-I-S-A-N-C-E. -E. Obeisance. So go ahead and have a seat. Ethan, we got a spelling word for you. It is conquistador. Mr. Sanchez admired the helmet of a conquistador at the museum. Conquistador. C-O-N-Q-U-I-S-T-A-D-O-R. Conquistador. Yes. So, Ethan, we have you confirmed as one of our top eighth grade spellers. Let's have a round of applause for Ethan. So go ahead and sit on in your chair there, and let's bring back our two students to see which will be the other of the top spellers. All right. So we're moving on, and Alexander, come on up here. Here's your next spelling word. It is pasteurize. Liliana placed the milk over the burner to pasteurize it. Pasteurize. P-A-S-T-E-U-R-I-Z-E. -E. You have to say the word when you're done. Pasteurize. Yes, sir. 
there you go. All right, Melody, come on up. Your next spelling word is raconteur. We love to listen to Jaime's stories because, boy, she's a great raconteur. Raconteur. R-A-C-Q. O-N-T-E-U-R. Raconteur. And that's incorrect. Raconteur is R-A-C-O-N-T-E-U-R. Melody, thank you so much. I know you're going to do great things in your career. Alexander, you are our second top speller in the eighth grade level. Congratulations. You did great, and obviously you had great competition. Congratulations, and congratulations to you. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the 2021-2022 Clark County School District Spelling Bee Finals. We're going to see all of these students in the Nevada State Spelling Bee in March, and we hope to see you right back here next year for the next CCSD Spelling Bee on Vegas PBS.